Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In today's video, we're going to learn all about and how to use the Form Locker add-on by WP Forms. This is a great way to manage permissions and restrictions for your site's contact forms right from within the form builder. With that said, let's get right to it. After logging in and installing the WP Forms plugin, we'll first need to install and activate the Form Locker add-on. You can do this in one of two ways. The first option is by going to WP Forms, Add-ons, and scrolling down until you find the Form Locker add-on. Click Install Add-on and wait for the status to change to active. Alternatively, you can activate the add-on right from within the form builder itself, so let's head over there now. WP Forms comes with lots of different templates to get you started as quickly as possible. You can browse through the available categories to pick one you'd like to use, or search for specific keywords by using the available search bar. You can also create a form entirely from scratch if you want. It's all up to you. For this tutorial, let's create a contest entry form, and we'll search for and use one of our contest templates to save some time. Let's go over to the Settings tab on the left and click on the Form Locker tab to install and activate it, and then explore its settings. Now that the add-on is installed and activated and the form builder is refreshed, let's go through the available Form Locker settings. The form verification setting will require users to enter some type of information before they can access the form. You can choose from three different verification types, password, age, and email. The password type allows you to create a password that users will need to enter to access the form. The age type will require that users enter a birth date that meets your minimum, equal to, or maximum age requirement. And finally, the email type will have users enter their email address before they can access the form. Once they submit their address, they'll see a message instructing them to check their inbox for a verification link that they can click on to access the form. Each verification type will include a text box where you can write in your own custom message that will be displayed to the user. The next setting is Form Scheduling. This option allows you to set the date and time that a form will be open and available, as well as when it will close and stop accepting entries. You'll be able to fill in the following fields, Start Date and Start Time, and End Date and End Time. You'll also be able to write in a custom message that will be displayed when the form has officially closed. Next up is the form restriction setting. If enabled, your form will only be visible to logged in users. If users don't have an account with your site or just aren't logged in at the time, they won't be able to see the form. You can write in a custom message that will be displayed to visitors who try to access the form but aren't logged in. Our final setting option is entry limits and restrictions. Sometimes you may want to limit the number of entries you receive per form or limit the number of entries a single user can submit. The Enable Total Entry Limit option lets you set an overall entry limit for your form. When a user hits the entry limit, the form will automatically display your custom message, letting visitors know that the form is no longer accepting any more submissions. The Enable User Entry Limit option allows you to prevent the same user from submitting multiple entries. You can restrict multiple entries from the same IP address, email address, or both. If you select the email option, you'll need to specify which field in your form will contain the user's email address. You can also set the number of entries you want users to be able to submit, and then decide if you'd like to apply this limit per day, week, month, or year. Finally, you can write in a custom message that will be displayed to the visitor when they've reached their entry limit. The Form Locker add-on also gives you the ability to require users to enter a unique answer for certain fields, like the name field, email, phone, website, password, and the single line text field. To enable this feature, go back into the Form Builder and let's click on the name field. Click on the Advanced tab and then scroll to the bottom to find the toggle called Require Unique Answer. If enabled and the user tries to enter a name that has been submitted before, they'll see a message letting them know that this answer must be unique. And that's all there is to it. You can now easily use the Form Locker add-on to manage your contacts forms, permissions, and restrictions. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. 
Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.